Welcome back, everybody. If you're new, my name is Nicholas, and this is Investing Against the Grain. Today's episode, we are going to talk about a conspiracy theory, a hypothesis, a prediction that I have about Tesla AI Day Part 2. What is that? Well, you're going to have to stick around to find out. Now, before we get into it, let me put some asterisks out here, some warning signs. Number one, this is not financial advice. Number two, none of this may happen. This is a big prediction. This is a probably 1% chance of happening. However, I do think I have some tea leaves to point us in the right direction that this is a possibility. As Elon would say, it's a greater than 0% chance. And for all of you new subscribers, thank you. Welcome to the channel. I want to give a special shout out to our newest Patreon member, Parag Madhani. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Thank you for, for joining our Patreon group. And for the rest of you, if you don't know who I am or what I'm about, I am a engineer. I have a background mechanical electrical engineering. I transitioned to software engineering. I talk a lot about Tesla. I talk a lot about finances. I'm financially independent and somehow all of these things tie together for me. And this is what this channel is all about. So with that said, let's talk about my conspiracy theory about what I think is going to happen during AI day part two. And I don't think you're going to want to miss this. Let's get into it. First things first, let's get right into it. Check out this clip from Farzad's live stream today that he had with uh, Matt from Good Soil. And he put up for his last question, a question that I asked Farzad. So listen to this clip real quick and you'll see where this video is going. Uh, my boy, Nick, Nicholas Gibbs, Investing Against the Grain. Go subscribe to his channel. It's awesome. I met him uh, and his lovely wife in person when they came up for um, Investor Day. So it was awesome meeting you in person, Nick. Uh, question: Robo Taxi unveil at day for the la uh, at AI day for the last question. What do you guys think about that? I think I think there's a chance, but I'm curious to hear y'all's thoughts. I think they'll talk about full self driving. I think that needs to hit people's world first, and I think Robo Taxi is one of those things that I don't think Elon wants to talk about publicly until he's ready for it to happen. Um, just because of all of the publicity he's gotten behind other announcements and delays and stuff. I, I think he's starting to change the way he communicates with people. And um, even though he loves to talk about it, and love, loves to explore it, I, my personal opinion would be he's going to hold out until they can mass produce the the uh, $25,000 model. And to me, that means the next generation of the factories and they, they have floor plans built out for if they go to uh, expand Shanghai or expand uh, G Giga Austin or even go to Canada, right? There's talks about that as well. So I think the next couple of factories are when they're going to start doing robo taxis. I had a, a conspiracy theory kind of take place in my head as this, as this, as you were asking this question, so just kind of stream of consciousness, this AI in Chinese is I, which is the, the word for love. And if you remember the poster had the, the little love part on the robot arms. And then I was thinking, the Chinese design studio was launched like two years ago, right? Something like that. And they said they were going to de develop a new, a new car specifically like with the Chinese aesthetics. So maybe they introduce like the Chinese, maybe it is the robo taxi that they were developing there. It's, it's not clear. Um, but maybe there's some sort of like unveiling of a new product that is leaning on AI heavily and that is related to the Chinese market. That's that's my kind of unpacked, like just stream of consciousness thought that that I had just now. Interesting. So you're officially predicting that Tesla will unveil a new vehicle at AI Day 2. Is that what you're saying? And officially. I will donate a million dollars to the charity of your choice if I'm wrong. That's what I agree <laughs> <Perfect>. to. <Yeah. laughs> I don't think it's just going to be bought. I, I mean, a bot's going to take a lot of of um, attention for sure. But I, yeah, I do. I don't know. I just feel like Robo. I, I think it's time. The last time Tesla has unveiled a product that you can reserve, where you can put money down, was November 2019 with the Cybertruck. We're almost three yep. years removed. It's time. Now that you've watched that clip, you have an idea of what my prediction is. So my prediction, as I pose the question to to Farzad and the group there is whether or not you think Tesla will unveil a robo taxi during AI day part two. Now, keep in mind, Tesla did reveal Optimus last year, right? During AI day part one, they had a one more thing moment. So in this year's AI day part two, I predict that they're going to go over all the stuff we expect. Dojo, FSD, Optimus, Demo Optimus, etc. However, however, 
I think there's a greater than 0% chance that we will also get a one more thing, a Steve Jobs moment, if you will, about the robo-taxi. That's my prediction. So let me walk you through how I get to this prediction step by step. So first of all, let me share my screen. And what you're going to see here is what Matt was talking about. So we all know that Tesla China, I think back in 2022, Elon talked about them having their own design team and it being based out of China. This article talks about how it's going to be based out of Beijing, right? All this good stuff. But I just want to bring this up because this is what Matt was alluding to. And so we know, we've known that Tesla has this team that they've planned to uh, create a team dedicated out of China. And that the point of that team was to create a vehicle for the international markets, for the every market. All right. Now, we haven't heard anything about it since. It's been a couple years now. And we haven't heard anything, but we do know that team exists. We do know that they're either out there or they're in Austin or uh, San Francisco. We don't actually know where they are, but we do know that the team exists and we do know this is a real thing. Okay. So remember, this is, this is, we're making, we're building a house here. Okay. This is the very first thing. All right. This is uh, arguably the, the, the least amount of proof I need for the robo taxi coming in, uh, during AI day part two. So, so bear with me. Okay. So there's that piece that kind of, uh, goes along with what, uh, Matt was talking about next. Let's go ahead and let me share my screen again. And this time what we're looking at here, this is the Q4 2021 earnings call which happened January 26th of 2022. So again, Q4 of 2021 ended in, uh, December 31st. And so the earning call comes out uh, or it happens during January, okay? And so we're just gonna do a quick control F uh, if I can. Yep, there we go. And you can see here, I have taxi. So let's go ahead and look this up. Let's see where all they have taxi. So here we can see that they say uh, take rates there. And, and then as we work towards the robo taxi space, there's actually quite a bit of upside on margins from software perspective. Okay, interesting. Let's look at the next one. Here we see Elon saying, yeah, I think basically everything pales in comparison to the value of a robo taxi or personal driving. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here again, we see, I mean, it's going to be, I think it's way ch uh, cheaper point, uh, cheaper to point with uh, point to point with robo taxi. Okay. And that's pretty much it. All right. So let me stop sharing real quick. Um, so, so that was, uh, what we got for the Q1 or Q4 earnings call that happened in January of 2022. Now. I just thought about this. This is all stream of consciousness. Uh, like all my videos are, I just remembered that there was a, another video with Lex Friedman that Elon talked about that could add to all of this, but we're not even going to do that. We're just going to continue going on the path we're going. So what's the next thing I have? Well, the next thing I have is actually a video for you guys. So listen to this. So massive scale, full self-driving, uh, there's going to be a dedicated robo taxi. That's going to look pretty fruit. It's, uh, it's going to look, it's gonna look uh, uh, quite futuristic. Uh, and, and then, of course, we've got the Tesla robot, Optimus. And then we've got, and, and I, th I think we, we have a shot at being in, um, in, in production uh, for version one of, of Optimus, hopefully next year. Ah, so that's the first real big building block we have for this house that we're constructing. All right, Elon Musk himself talking about a robo taxi that they're working on how it's gonna look really futuristic. And this was all during the Cyber Rodeo. And if you're not aware, this happened, I believe around April time-ish uh, in 2022, okay? Just a few months ago, not that long ago. So up to this point, let's recap what we have. We have the whole China design team that we don't really know what they've been up to. It's been almost top secret, if you will. Then we see that in the, Q in the Q4 earnings report, or a uh, conference call, we have them talk about robo taxis here and there. And it's, it's the most they've talked about robo taxis in quite some time. And then that leads into cyber rodeo. And here we get concrete evidence that they are working on a robo taxi. It's going to be futuristic and it seems like it's going to come out soon. Okay. So, so that's pretty exciting, right? He's mentioning that alongside Optimus, which is very curious, isn't it? Especially when we talk about AI day. Now, don't forget, the robo-taxi would be a big part of AI, it's just as the humanoid is. Humanoid is the equivalent of the vehicle, whereas the software would be the same in both, right? It's ubiquitous. Okay, 
So I think at this point, maybe you're starting to see where I'm going with this. Maybe you're starting to follow along and have some belief in this theory. Okay, let's continue. I do have more. So here we go into another earnings call. So the last one we looked at was the Q4 one for 2021. This time we're looking at Q1 of 2022. This one gets a little more interesting. So once again, we'll control F, we'll type in taxi, and we'll start with the first one. Elon Musk. Yes, it's basically zero for robot taxi. Don't even need to know what the context is. Here we see Andrew Baglino. Again, yes for robot taxi. Yes, it doesn't make sense. Don't even need to worry about what the context is. Just know that they're talking about it. Okay, let's continue here. Next. Yes, next question uh, is that Cyber Rodeo, Elon mentioned that a futuristic driverless robo taxi vehicle uh, is on the roadmap. When can we expect more details on the product offering to be unveiled? Is it something that people can own or will this be the only uh, will this only be offered by Tesla as a service? Excellent question, which leads us into the next part where Elon answers. Let's read his whole answer. So I think we want to hold up on Elon gives a little ums. We don't want to jump the gun on a on an exciting product announcement too much. So I think we'll aim to we do a product event for a robo taxi next year and get it into more de and get into more detail. But we are aiming for volume production in 2024. So before we move forward, before we move forward with this, let me uh, let me just switch the screen up here a little bit. So before we move forward on on reading the rest of this. He's talking about RoboTaxi event next year. Okay, this was uh, during, this is the beginning of this year. Okay, so this is the first half of this year. This is during the Q1 earnings call. So uh, January, February, March. So this happened in April. This is just after Cyber Rodeo. Okay, here we are in September. At the end of this month is AI Day Part 2. Now, I believe that there's going to be two things. One, I think they're going to unveil the RoboTaxi during uh, Tesla AI Day Part 2. But I also believe that next year they will have an actual unveiling details and everything, right? Like they'll get into the nit gritty and they'll get more, more production ready, if you will, or more live stream. Because remember, here he says that uh, volume production 2024. This means that they need to have production started in 2023. All right. So just keep all that in mind. So let's continue reading here. I'm going to flip this back so you guys can see. Okay, here we go. And then we'll just go on to the very next one. So the next one, uh, but I think especially with robo taxi and autonomy, I think we will end up providing customers with by far the lowest, whatever, whatever. I mean, with robo taxi, like maybe five, 10. Okay, so they're just talking about the costs here. Let's go to the next one. Elon says, yes, I mean, looking at some of our projections, it would appear that a robo taxi ride will cost less than a bus ticket. That's excellent. Next here, Zach, this is from Zach Kirkhorn. He says, um, let me, I'm going to read this whole thing. Actually, the way we've been, I think we have, we have to take this one step at a time. And so we have investments that are happening right now to get Austin Berlin up and running. Keep in mind, they weren't running at this point in time. All right. We just had the rodeo, uh, cyber rodeo happen Berlin. Okay. They both just opened. Let's just put it that way. All right. And then as Elon mentioned, installing capacity for robo taxi production. And there are some decisions that, as Elon alluded to, just to share in the future about what the economic model looks like, what the economic model looks like for the robo taxi. And so the way Elon and I have discussed this is technically difficult or, or difficulty. Okay. Anyways, let's continue here. Um, here you see Zach again. Yes. So our focus is to get to the point where robo taxis are on the road and Optimus is in use, get the economic model for that dialed in. Here again, we see more robo taxi talk. Um, so we're also working on a new vehicle that I alluded to at Giga Texas opening, which is the dedicated robo taxi. All right, we're going to stop here because we've essentially covered all of those now. Let me go back and stop sharing my screen. So here again, we heard a lot of things. One, yes, it's a real thing. Two, they're already talking about building out. It seems like that's the next thing they're going to do is build out the, the production capacity for this. So they're already talking about this back in the first half of 2022. They've alluded to this happening in volume production by 2024, which means it has to start in 2023, which means that they probably want to go ahead and talk a little bit about it now 
as we get into 2023 to get people excited about it, to get more people wanting to work at Tesla, to work on this vehicle. And then 2023, they do a big unveiling of it rather than just a little teaser. Again, that's exactly the Optimus playbook. That's exactly what happened with Optimus, right? They didn't get into too much detail with Optimus. No, they gave us a little taste. And now here we are, AI Day Part 2. That's where they're really going to open up the buffet for us. And so I think this is going to happen again with the Robo Taxi. But wait, there's more. There's always more. I got one more thing for you. All right. So let's take a look at this. And this is essentially me putting the ceiling on top of this house. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to take a look at something that changed. So here we see Q1 2022 update. So this is again for 2022. This is the update. This, this is, this is the deck that came out uh, right after Cyberodia. Okay. So everything we're just reading about them talking about robo taxis and all that, this is the deck associated with that earnings call. So not, so you should be tracking with me. This is from April, 2022. So if I scroll down here, keep going. Here we go. Let's take a look at this. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Here we can see in California, we see Shanghai, Berlin, Texas, and to be decided. Here we see production, production, production of what? Of S and X. We know about those. Three and Y. We know about those. Three and Y. We know about those. The Y, the Y. Okay. We know all that. Cybertruck in development. We know about that. The Tesla semi in development. We also know about that. Roadster. We know about that as well future product. Hmm. That's interesting. Notice that's all it says. Okay. So the vehicles we already know about and future, future products, you know, you might be thinking, Oh, future product. Well, Optimus is obviously in that. Maybe the HVAC system. Yeah, sure. Okay. You could be right. Okay. Let's fast forward by one quarter, the very next quarter. Again, this was that, that first quarter of the year, this is January, February, March. And then this got unveiled. This, this, uh, this earnings call was right after cyber rodeo that happened in April. So the next thing we're going to look at is Q2 2022. Ah, let's scroll down and let's see if we notice anything that changes here. Let me zoom in for you guys. And do you notice anything different here? Anything changed maybe? Ah, yes. Look at that. Robo taxi and other. And if I move myself out of the way, it says in development. How interesting is that? To me, this is the final solar shingle on the house. To me, this is the cherry on top. This is why I believe, and again, it's a prediction. It's a conspiracy theory, if you will. It's a hypothesis. But this is why I believe Tesla has a greater than 0% chance of unveiling a robo taxi come the end of this month at AI day part two. Now a little extra credit here, just cause why not would be if I want to slate or just list all the times that Elon throughout this year has talked about full self driving becoming essentially better than a human by the end of this year. He has said that from the beginning, it all started at Lex Freeman podcast, and he's been steadfast on that all year long. With the new release of the 10.69 series of, of FSD beta, everybody's seen massive improvements. They've more or less solved Chuck Cook's unprotected left-hand turn. Sure, there's still some questionable moments, but it's questionable on whether or not that's the vehicle error or human just not trusting the vehicle, right? Either way, that'll get solved. Six, uh, six dot, six 6.9.2 comes out today, tomorrow, sometime this weekend. I'll be testing that. But the point is they are making exponential changes, okay? The, the, the change, the progress in FSD beta is happening exponentially. Elon believes it'll be safer than a human by the end of this year and that it can go wide release by the end of this year, which sets it up perfectly for what? A robo taxi to go ahead and start putting this out there doesn't mean that we'll be ready for robo taxis at the end of this year but it means that we are essentially that close so with that said let me know what you guys think let me know down below in the comments if you want you can hit the like you can hit the subscribe you can ring that bell i appreciate you guys if you stuck to the end <laughs> i appreciate you guys if you stuck till the end i hope you have a great weekend i love you all peace